Hey, it's Jorge from Oh so Fast Reviews. Today, like always, I'll be doing a review of The 100, Season 5, Episode 8, called How We Get Peace. This episode was insane. So first of all, I'm going to do a quick recap of the whole episode and then kind of give you my thoughts and feelings about it. Um, so first, let's just kick it off. We're, we're going to war. Um, definitely loved how Murphy is back in the show. I kind of miss seeing him. Um, loved how Echo was trying to basically get Shaw killed um, in the nicest of way. Um, Bellamy and Clark are definitely plotting and I think uh, they are going way overboard. Um, and then of course, you know, Abby is definitely in Raven's head. She's definitely using that um, motherly power over Raven. Um, and then Monty with, I think, one of the, the best killer lines in this, um, I think, uh, what was it that he said? He goes, what's one more? And then everyone, you know, Clark and Bellamy kind of froze for a little bit. And then he's like, oh, let's just kill O. And all of a sudden it was just like, nope, dang, you know, so that, that was, that was just dope. Monty definitely, I felt this episode had not a lot of screen time, but definitely had some impactful lines. Um, and then Kane is just kind of this peacemaker like he, he's kind of become this uh all-knowing like monk type of person you know definitely having all the right answers um so I think that that's going to be definitely interesting um I definitely think that the whole um thing that happened with the worms is is just mind-boggling to me um and then the whole uh John and McCreary, I think this guy's name is, uh, them working together. Um, I definitely think that's going to backfire in some weird way. Um, I think Amore was, was kind of right in the sense of not having a good feeling about it. But uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Um, and how does Abby go from becoming, you know, kind of like a little fan favorite and, you know, trying to look out for someone to just becoming this junkie and you know, basically shocking Raven, which is, God, like, out of all the people, like, she's the one who's kind of, like, looked up to you like a motherly figure, and she's just going to do her dirty like that. So definitely did not like that. Um, and then uh, I will give it up for Octavia, you know, throwing that curveball and basically letting uh, Bellamy and Clark know and everybody that she wasn't even gonna use the worms, it was the eggs. Um, so that part is just wild, like crazy. Um, definitely think Clark is uh, put in a weird predicament. Um, and then the show kind of ends with, uh, you know, um, Octavia asking for them to go get Clark and Bellamy. Um, and obviously they get Clark. Bellamy then goes to see, you know, his sister. She lets everyone out. And then he freaking drugs her, like gives her some of Monty's stuff. And next thing you know, obviously she's gonna be put in a coma, which kind of sucks because I definitely loved Octavia's character. I kind of liked how she went from, you know, kind of like this hero type figure to almost being, you know, a, a heel turn in a sense and this villainous person. But she she's just looking out for her people and what she thinks is best. So it, it's definitely, it's bittersweet, you know, that, that's for one. Um, you know, and at, at this point, you know, I, I definitely will say with the CW, making us wait another two weeks again for, for the next episode, you guys are killing me. So definitely can't wait till July 10th to see what happens. But I don't know. I think so far, you know, obviously there's not that many episodes left in the season. So obviously the season's wrapping up. But um, definitely feel a war is going to be brewing in this place. Um, I definitely feel that somehow, some way, um, obviously Octavia, Bellamy, Clark, uh, I'll even go with Raven. There, There's no way they're going to die. I somehow feel that John's gonna live, but Amore is gonna end up dying or sacrificing herself. Um, I definitely feel that McCreary is gonna end up, I guess he's gonna get his people and they're gonna kind of almost start an internal war where in a weird sense, it's gonna almost go back to previous seasons where you had your Reapers versus the Mountain Men versus uh, 
you know, like all the other people. So it's, it's almost going to be, it's almost foreshadowing of everything that's happening in the past. It's happening now in the future. So definitely going to be interesting. I do feel though that, um, I always forget her name. The, the one in charge right now of the sky crew or, or not the sky crew, the one in charge of, of the new prisoner group, um, that's pregnant. I definitely think she's going to somehow die within this whole thing. They'll end up saving the baby obviously, but I think she's going to end up dying and it wouldn't surprise me if Kane, you know, going full circle 180, you know, kind of ends up being the leader of, of this whole, um, you know, kind of all these different crew members and all this. He's the only one who, in, in my mind right now, kind of understands both sides, understands what's best for everybody. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I have to say. You know, definitely this episode was jam-packed with tons of information. Looking forward to, in two weeks, next episode, episode nine. And yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts. Let me know what theories do you guys have. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, and how can I forget? Maddie. I definitely feel that Maddie is going to end up uh, getting the fire. Um, I think that's definitely going to be one of those things that happen. Um, you know, I think somehow she, now that Octavia is out of the picture and she's the number two, I think she's going to become the true queen and that, that will start some, some weird stuff. But I wonder if she'll fall under Clark's kind of guidance or or where she's gonna fall under but either way god i love this show um looking forward to hearing what you guys say and on that note this is jorge from oh so fast reviews and i will catch you guys in the next two weeks with my next uh review and reactions from the 100.